Bro. But are we dealing with weather balloons anymore? Because now this shit's starting to get get weird. Uh, I mean, we're getting into some other shapes and sizes and fun things that uh, aren't weather balloons anymore. And if the United States, which you know they just announced they're going to be uh, having a new UFO task force, it's clearly something other than weather balloons from China. At least maybe that's what they want us to believe. I don't. I don't really know. Um, I wanted to get your take on it here because some of these descriptions from these pilots of, of these things that they're shooting down, because they just shot a second one down, uh, three total, two in, uh, over Alaska. Uh, one was an oblong shake, shape, the guy said, so not a weather balloon mm-hmm. or anything else like that. One pilot said his radar jammed up um, when he was shooting at it. Uh Apparently, they, they shot the one down with a Sidewinder missile, which is a $400,000 missile. Now, the guy missed the first shot, and he said that that was extremely odd uh, for, for that to happen. And then the second one hit it and was able to finally bring this thing down. First of all, why does a Sidewinder missile cost $400,000, and what is it? I have, I have no idea why it would cost $400,000, but it's a short-range air-to-air missile um well how likely are you to miss at something that shouldn't be moving or trying to run away from you i mean it depends on the targeting system right like i don't know what targeting system they were using so you might use um uh laser guided or gps guided okay something like that uh i don't know or there, there's some i don't know if uh if there are heat seeking sidewinders um, but if yeah. you're a real cowboy, you can just eyeball it like Bill Pullman in the first Independence Day. Yeah. When he yeah. said, hey, guys, yeah, we got we to ditch these targeting systems and just close one eye and shoot. So yeah, that, that's, I mean, in real life, that's fucking stupid. Well, um, or, but, or should we be sending up Bill Pullman to? Well, he's dead, so. No, he's not. He, is Bill, Bill Pol- Paxton. Paxton. Paxton oh, is, from uh, Aliens is dead. Yeah. Paxton is dead, yeah. Okay. You got the wrong Bill. Uh, either way. Yeah, wrong bill on that one. Either way, uh, Randy Quaid maybe. Quaid's um, still alive. Yeah, he could probably do it. And he lives up there. I don't. I don't know that much about these ordnance though, so I don't. I don't really know if it's atypical or atypical from them to miss that badly. Okay, because it says uh, this new group, by the way, that is uh, the new task force for the UFOs, uh, was just created at the behest of National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. It would compromise elements of the Pentagon. Uh, I'm sorry, comprise elements of the Pentagon, uh, the FAA, uh, the Department of Homeland Security, your boys over there, and other government agencies. Uh, And it also says the group will look at broader policy implications of the objects for detection, uh, analysis, and disposition. It doesn't sound like a fucking fun weather spy balloon anymore. This sounds like real UFO shit. And over the last... What, three years now? Uh, Not only have we had a shit ton of sightings everywhere, but the Pentagon has actually released footage of the same oblong thing Mm. that has been going out where that one guy freaked out. We actually played it on the show. I think it was fake news a couple years ago. Um, and, uh, Mm. And now shit's getting wild because I like this. I don't like Chinese spy balloons. I've been against those for forever, right? That and rape, I've been against in child molestation. Those three things I've been adamant I don't like in this world. Now if we're starting to dip into real UFO shit, and we can blast one of these things out of the sky and potentially fuck one of these things Mm. and clap some alien cheeks, now I'm all in, and I'm actually starting to have fun with this. I wasn't having fun with it a week ago. Uh, There's a lot to unpack there. Do you want to start with the sex with the aliens first? Because no, I do. Because I, that's I want to finish inside the alien. All right. Uh, but no, I don't. I don't know, man. It's uh, first things first. We haven't seen anything that isn't explainable by just normal physics, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so there's no need to imply anything like that. I'll, I'll say that. Um, but it is bizarre. Uh, it so here here's the question you got to ask. There, another thing is going on with these train derailments, right? You, you've seen this? Yes, I, I, I've seen this. I don't want to get too deep into it because we're going to do fake news stuff on it. But I do want to make the point that the media controls 
what we think is common versus what we think is rare based on how much they talk about something. Now, there are 1,705 or so train derailments every single year. Mm -hmm. That's 4.7 a day. It's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Yep. Does that does that go across the range from like hopping off the tracks? To... It includes everything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But the but the idea that there are three major ones in a in a seventy two hour period or a week long period, that's not statistically an aberration. Really, that's just diffusion. It's just you know there it might be a couple of months now before another one happens, okay. or a couple of weeks rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like are we and and also you add to that the fact that our we know our infrastructure is fucked. We haven't spent money repairing our infrastructure. Actually, the uh, the the train industry should be doing that themselves since it's private organizations. No, Biden Biden wants to do it. No, yeah, uh, he wants to. He gave money to Amtrak. Yeah. yeah, no, the the federal government should not, under any circumstances, be paying for that shit. I agree because what they do is tax citizens. Mm -hmm. And companies who use the trains, instead of the trains passing directly that amount of money on to the consumer, that way we know exactly how much it costs because they won't they won't gouge consumers mm -hmm. on infrastructure because if they do, they'll go out of business. Right. But instead, the government gets involved and they take their scrape. They take their twenty to forty percent off of that, and we're left with eighty, sixty to eighty percent of the total amount we should be spending. Now we're fucked. Right. Same thing that happens in medicine. We have. This hundred percent of money that we would spend on healthcare, mm -hmm. and for no apparent reason, we give twenty percent of it to insurance companies, right? And then uh, it, forget about the insurance companies. On it, the remaining balance of healthcare funds that we spend as a population, eighty percent of that remaining balance is administrative fees, not drugs, not treatment. It's administrative fees and shit like that. It's people getting hired at the hospital to make sure all the paperwork for the insurance companies is getting done. Right. This is what we mean when we talk about bureaucratic bloat. It's fucked. Anyways, back to the train thing. Well, let's let's let me ask you this because this will lead into what what, <laughs> what you're talking about here. Since we're on Patreon today, by the way, if you're not subscribed, please do on on Drinker Bros Podcast Patreon. No ads over here, by the way, just a fucking show. Um, with that, there is a rumor or a conspiracy going around that the train people are unhappy with the money that they're making. And they're doing this on purpose. Yeah, it, it's like the first time unions have ever existed before. And they're, it, it's the first time unions are unhappy. No, man, that's, there, there's two very common things. Trains derail all the time, and union people are pissed off all the time. Mm -hmm. You can weave that narrative however you want, but that's fucking nonsense. It's just not how, that, that's not what's happening here. So you don't think that's what's happening no. whatsoever? Okay. No, so but it, it, does, it does show you that the infrastructure is fucked. And, and it also shows you the dangers of having fucked infrastructure, which we see in East Palestine. Well, we're also seeing it here with the, with the airlines over Christmas, right? Not just the airlines, with Texas and their energy grid. Well, but, but all of it, right? So, but let's just start with the Department of Transportation and, and Pete Buttigieg. We had this whole fucking thing with the airlines and their system collapsed. And is this the new normal and all this other shit? Now the trains are, this system appears like it's collapsing there, there may or may not be dangerous chemicals that were spilled into rivers. No, and... there were there, there was definitely dangerous chemicals that are now in Ohio again. Remember, okay. Cleveland's best known for having a river you can set on fire. Well, it was on fire, yeah. and that was fun. I remember yeah. that. Um, now, with this, they're saying that they found dead cattle and fish up to 100 miles away from where this accident I was. I mean, we'll see, right? So vinyl chloride, when it burns, I believe, turns into phosgene gas, which is not healthy for anybody. Um, I don't know how that interacts with, like, the soil, the water, the food supply, and shit like that, but it can't be good. Right. And, uh, you know, somebody in the chat just mentioned bridges. 65% of the bridges in the United States are in some state of disrepair right now. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the Biden administration wants to pass a giant government bill. No, these bridges are owned by the state. The states. The states should be funneling money into that. Mm -hmm. Right? Tax at the lowest possible level if you have to do stuff like that. Tax... Uh, uh, companies that use the roadways more than individuals, right? That, that yeah. this all makes sense. We set this stuff up this way, um, <clears throat> but I, I want to go back to the appearance part because if you just watched the news and didn't do any further research, and by the way, that further research would have taken you five to ten minutes to do, you would think that there's some kind of conspiracy going on with eggs 
and with fucking train derailments. But that's not true. Oh, the egg thing drives me up yeah. a it's fucking just not, wall. It's just not true. And by the way, eggs have already reduced back to normal cost. That that lasted for three weeks. Here's a uh, I had a conversation with a man um, named Kevin Lavelle today. He owns uh, Mizzen and Main, that dress shirt company mm-hmm. that makes like ta- not tactical, but just like. They make dress shirts that... It's kind of like a golf polo, but a dress shirt. Yeah, it's dope. I, yeah. I know who the guy is. They're really yeah. nice. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan. He said, if you think that the stuff that's going on in the news right now is important and relevant, do, your, do this. Go to archive news from six months ago and read it and see if it's relevant to your life right now. And that'll give you a little bit of perspective on how these people are intentionally trying to manipulate you. 